So yesterday we figured out what's the absolute best farm to build in all of finance. And did you guys really think I was going to leave it at that? Guys, today we're going to be building a gigantic farm to prove to you guys what we figured out yesterday. And it's going to be absolutely insane. So yeah, for the people that haven't seen the video yet, yesterday we figured out that avocados are the absolute best thing to farm in all of Ireland. So I did a little bit of math in between videos to figure out exactly some of the final things I needed to know to build the ultimate money farm in all of Ireland. Like literally... The, the best one possible. So as you guys can see right here, uh, there's four trees planted. Well, each one of these is one block closer than another. And the closest I was able to put these avocado trees together is seven blocks in between e e each sapling. So yeah, uh, for anyone that wanted to know that, that's what I figured out myself. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm quickly going to tear down all of this stuff. And I'm just going to quickly take all of this down. And guys, I'm going to officially start the building process of the number one best farm in all of islands. It is going to be absolutely insane. So yeah, I'm going to go right here. So this is going to be block one. I'm going I built this giant patch of grass for the math yesterday, but uh, I actually don't want that. So uh, that kind of sucks, but hey, it's whatever. All right, so here we go. This is all seven blocks apart. All right, perfect. So, yeah, now I'm actually gonna have to break a bunch of this stuff, which is gonna suck, but whatever. It, it doesn't matter too much. All right, guys. So yeah, I just deleted the entire platform. Took a minute, but it's all right. I used the, the quick break glitch, which is very nice. Um, But uh, yeah, what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna start off with a little bit of a five by five square of uh, avocado trees. So boom, one, two, three, four, and just one more. There you go. So yeah, this is gonna be the little bit of a like the grid that I'm going to be starting off on. And actually, I'm not going to be starting off right here. I'm going to be going up a little bit. <laughs> Dude, looking at the farm from up, all the farms from up here, it is literally insane. Oh my god. That looks just incredible. I love this view. Okay, there you go. We got to go this high up. <laughs> all right, there you go. Perfect. All right. So yeah, as you guys can see, it all it's all looking, starting to look pretty good right now. I'm actually going to delete the bottom layer there because I actually don't want it anymore. We're going to actually be building a little bit higher up. And guys, the reason for that is that, oh my god, that actually worked out perfectly. That way we actually actually have more space down there to actually really figure out a great way for collecting all the items. So yeah, guys, what I'm doing right now is just building a very simple grid. Uh, all uh, dirt blocks are seven blocks apart, just so that way we can exactly the way we want to um, build our farm here. All the, all the trees need to be seven blocks apart. All right, guys, there it is. The entire grid is now done. So let's actually figure out exactly how it is that we're going to build one of these units. What we're going to do is we're going to place a tree sapling on each and every one of these. Now, one of the things that we're actually going to have to do is we're going to have to place a tree shaker on every single one of these as well. So but actually, before I do anything, I'm just going to place all of the saplings because I'm going to have to wait for them to grow anyway. So yeah, guys, here we got 25 avocado trees now placed. So yeah, guys, one of the things that I was kind of thinking about is that what I can actually do is a little something like this, which might be nice, but I don't really think it's going to matter too much. As you can see, I can kind of reverse them so that way the thing is not on the same side. I actually didn't think about that. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think what I'm, what I'm going to do is just kind of like the simple, obvious thing. Keep it simple, stupid, um, and place the shaker right here on every single one of these. All right. So yeah, what we can do now is we can actually place these all right here. And that that is all super simple, guys. Like, what I'm telling you is that building one of these farms is literally the most simple, stupid thing you can do. Like, it is gonna make you so much money and it is so easy to build. It's ridiculous. Dude, that actually looks really cool as well. That is such a cool looking farm. Like, it doesn't even just work very well. It even looks super sick. All right, every single one of these now has a um, a uh, fruit tree shaker just like that. And pretty much there's only one thing left to figure out, which is insane. Like, I felt like that was so easy. <laughs> Um, and that one thing being, um, what is it called? The, the, the piping. That's pretty much it. So yeah, let's grab ourselves a bunch of pipes and pipe junctions. And the way I think I'm going to wire this up, guys, is going to be pretty simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build a very long line like this. And then in front of every single one of these, uh, tree fruit shakers, I'm going to build a little four, four block square like that, just like so. And that is probably the easiest way to wire them up. Uh, just don't do it for the final one. You don't need to do it for the final one. But yeah, keep in mind, guys, this is something that we're going to break, uh, in a little bit. So yeah, we don't need it permanent. And boom, just like that. So yeah, guys, what we're going to do we're going to grab our pipes and we're going to just go like this, okay? And we're going to do this to every single one of them. We go around, we're going to go around, we're going to go around, we're going to go around again. And we're going to keep doing this all the way around right there. And then you want to just do that little loop just like so. Make sure that all the pipes are connected, by the way, because sometimes they do a little bit of weird things and you don't want that to happen. And guys, what we're going to do for this final one, we actually have to quickly break the fruit tree shaker and we're going to place one pipe right there and then one into it. And then we're going to break the final one and then we can replace the um, uh, the fruit tree shaker just like that. Boom. So yeah, guys, all we need to do right now is we go break the pipe right there and we replace it with a pipe jump just like that. And we're going to do this for every single one of them. You know what? I think I'm actually going to say don't do this right here and instead just place a pipe junction and leave out the final one. Uh, like don't have the, you have an output right here. Don't use it. It means that you can just expand the farm in the future, which is kind of nice without having to do like any work on it. Like you can just keep working on it. Like it's really nice. So yeah. And now I can actually break the blocks underneath of everything except the, uh, the pipe junctions, because for some reason you can't break the blocks beneath them. So yeah, break everything else. And you can make sure everything is connected by just seeing if there's oil in the pipe. Now guys, of course, this is going to have to be petroleum but uh, for some reason,
reason it's like a little bug it always shows up as oil anyway so whatever it's fine and boom just like that so yeah everything has now been wired up on this line right here which is perfect okay so what i'm gonna do right here is i'm actually quickly gonna break that pipe right there and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do the exact same thing that we just did so we're gonna go right here just like that and right here we're gonna build a little bit of a four block square and we're gonna do this all the way to the end right here so yeah guys same exact thing go around like this and we're gonna place this all the way down to the very end and boom there it is perfect so yeah we're gonna do the exact same thing again we're gonna break that pipe right there and we're gonna replace it with a pipe junction and we're gonna do that for every one of these of course and I actually ran out of pipe junction so I'm gonna have to grab some more dude that is such a cool looking farm holy smokes <laughs> all right perfect so yeah guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretty much do the exact same thing uh we did to this one right here and we're gonna do to every single one of these so yeah I feel like you get the gist of it right now oh yeah we're gonna do this thing right here do every single one of these all right guys so I just got everything hooked up as you can see everything is looking perfect but as you can see as well some of my fruit trees I ain't grow my avocado tree will do man so uh, I think uh the reason that happened was because I actually had the um, uh fruit tree shaker placed before uh it was fully grown so uh, I just got rid of some of them and uh I'm trying to see if maybe they want to grow because if they don't I'm gonna be very upset that'll be a problem but I think it'll be all right um so all right guys so yeah there's only one thing left to do which is a very exciting thing and that is to hook this entire thing up to petroleum um which is gonna be a little bit tricky but it should be all right now for now I'm just gonna hook it up to this pipe right here because it should work and I don't really want to spend a bunch of time uh rerouting a bunch of pipes just for now just to just to see how well this thing is gonna do awesome and everything's working let's go look at it do it it's sting oh my god everything it's running baby then let's go all right guys so yeah uh I don't know exactly why it is that I'm having a little bit of trouble with these trees um I think maybe I should have gone one block further apart just to be safe um because yeah some of these guys don't want to actually grow right now which is a bit of a problem but yeah I think uh I think it'll be all right actually if I just give them enough time I think the reason it's happening is because of the trees like rotation it can make it so it doesn't give the, the other tree enough space to spawn so as you guys can see there's like a long one right there and there's also a long one right there which means that this one doesn't have enough, enough space what i've been doing is i've just been chopping these guys here down uh, if that's what happens but yeah pretty sure it's not because of the pl planter thing so i'm actually gonna place these back <laughs> uh the, the three shakers yeah so yeah, guys if you built this farm yourself i would almost recommend putting eight blocks in between each and every one of these just so you don't ru run into this problem it will literally only be a little bit bigger and it will go just as fast like all the farms will actually run equally fast so it doesn't matter anything all right guys so yeah now that everything has been done right here what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna build the collection system which is gonna be really really simple guys it's gonna be like pretty much anyone can build this like just saying now a lot of you guys already know that uh stairs are like literally the fastest way you can make an item travel an island so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be abusing that mechanic and building like a hyper speed collection system so let's see right here um what staircase do i want to use now i think regular stone brick stairs would be kind of boring so i think what i'm actually gonna do is i'm gonna use the um i kind of feel like i should use stone brick because i've used it everywhere let's use stone brick whatever it's fine so yeah let's use stone brick right here um stone brick stairs and what we're gonna do is we're pretty much gonna go right here which is where the items come out we're gonna go down a little bit just like so go down one more block just like that uh, one more three blocks down and that block actually needs to be a staircase now so right here boom just like that and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna build pretty much a staircase down um just like this until we pretty much get to the middle block and now you can probably tell why it is that i wanted to leave a little bit of space there in the middle and boom there it is so yeah we play stairs here now all the way to the top and let's grab some glass and boom just like that and we're gonna do that on both sides so yeah what we're doing now is we're just making it so that the items won't actually fall out just like so and then all there's left to do guys is to pretty much build a little bit of a pipe all the way to the point where the items actually drop out so right there so just like so as you can see the item will drop down to here and it will just pretty much go all the way down and then we go like so there you go boom so that's the first one now we're gonna have to do this for every single one of these so because make sure that you don't block up the actual item tube uh because that would really suck so yeah <laughs> make sure uh, to not do that pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this for every single one of these and boom just like that as you can see there's just a pipe right here gonna drop down and it's gonna go down there um and then all that there's left to do pretty much is build a conveyor line right here that the items are gonna fall down onto and we're all gonna collect them in the same exact place so preferably you're gonna use the speedy conveyor belt and it's just gonna be a line like that now actually fun fact i pretty much built this entire thing one block too high or one block too low so what i'm gonna do is in my case i'm actually gonna move the stairs one block higher just so that way um the items are actually gonna come out at ground level just like this um which is kind of stupid but yeah <laughs> all right guys as you can see i got everything finished setting up but guys i have a bit of a problem you know how i mentioned earlier how i said you know maybe i should have placed the trees one block further apart because i'm having a bit of a hard time growing well that is posing more of a problem than imagined uh, as you can see things are looking a little bit different this is the next day i literally spent an entire day trying to figure out <laughs> 
how to fix the problem that I'm having here, but I literally cannot. The trees can't grow next to, each, next to each other. It's not possible. I've tried everything, and the only way that I made it work is by doing this right here. Uh, you see this right here? I place some blocks, and then the tree's up there. But I don't want this. I don't want it to work like this. This is terrible. Like, I would pretty much have to redo all of the piping and all of that sort of stuff. It, it would be really bad. But guys, that isn't even the only problem. I don't know how I messed up this hard. This is probably the worst I've ever messed up on a farm, and it's pretty sad. <laughs> As you can see right here, I put the drop tubes right here. They're pretty amazing, you know? Look at the drop tubes. No, they're terrible. I was planning to build many layers of this farm, but look up. Where are the items gonna fall from? I literally messed up on every step of the process. Like, it is it is quite incredible. So yeah, guys, the only thing that I managed to actually make work was uh, palm trees, but then I still have the problem of the items. I'm gonna get blocked by the dumb tree. Ah! So guys... I'm here by announcing it. The next video, I am rebuilding this farm and I'm making it actually good, <laughs> okay? I'm gonna make it good and I'm actually gonna make an absolute unit of a farm, okay? It's gonna be the greatest ever built in the game, first of all. Second of all, we ain't gonna be doing no measly one layer. No measly one layered farm, okay? We're gonna be doing a big boy. I'm planning for the future. This is gonna be my main source of money for the foreseeable future. It's gonna be pretty insane and I'm very excited about it. So guys, that is it. I know it's a bit of an anticlimactic ending with just everything being broken. But don't build this farm. Please don't build this farm. Okay, this is not the farm to build. I'm sure the title says it already. But yeah, I hope you all had a fun time with me today. You know, I figured I'd show the process because sometimes you can't win them all, you know? Sometimes you're going to mess up. Sometimes there's going to be a moment where you build a farm that is just complete garbage. And this is it. I'm going to have to spend at least an hour tearing everything down and then at least another like five hours building everything back up. But I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it in the next video, guys. I'll see you in the next one, boys. Peace out, everyone. And bye-bye.